Hey everybody, Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting. In this video, I am gonna talk about our June Bloom Box. So, I have some great information to share about some Bloom Box changes, okay? Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you June's Bloom Box first, and then I'll talk about those changes here in the, um, uh, as soon as I'm done with that, okay? So, um, this month, so first of all, some of you guys signed up in May because May's was amazing. It was just so beautiful and stunning and probably one of my favorite snap sets, um, bloom boxes ever. I mean, it's up there with February's butterfly, bold butterfly one. Anyway, and so this month's June is on a totally different, um, scale, different type. I, and I get the camera in front of me and then my words leave me. So the, if, if May's was like stunning and beautiful, June's is like eclectic and cute, okay? And so that is one of the really cool things about our bloom box. It changes every month, month to month. Um, Richard is really good at giving us different styles and different tips and techniques that we can incorporate into our, you know, day-to-day -day crafting. And to be quite honest, that is one of the things I really, really appreciate about this subscription. So let me go ahead and show you June's uh, stamp set. It's called Fun Cards. <gasps> so there they are fun. Okay. Um, Aren't those cute? Okay, so you make me a happy camper. You make my heart skip a beat. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank my lucky stars. Cool beans. I'm a fan. And then proudest punch. Um, they're so cute. The little graphics are adorable. You can use them within the square or you can use them without the square. Um, you can just use a little image just by itself. So it's fun. It's super fun. So very eclectic. So, and I said eclectic because the cards are, um, yeah, they're just kind of, they're just very, you can use them for a lot of different things, obviously. So the, um, sentiments themselves are very much like encouraging, kind of fun. You know, you're proud, someone made an accomplishment. Um, so something you can be proud of or, you know, um, you a little bit of love in there. So you make my heart skip a beat. Um, anyway, so just, it's, again, the best way I can think of is eclectic for this one. So let me go ahead and show you. Actually, I always show you, or I always read you the inspiration, right? So Richard's inspiration for this one says, challenge your creativity with these versatile stamps. I designed these four cards to give you just a small taste of the different color combinations and layout options you can use with your new fun cards stamp set. Use it to create paper crafts for any occasion. I'm so excited for you to craft with this set. With each card, I hope you'll learn a new tip along the way. Be sure to watch my video for different variations of the technique. So the awesome thing about subscribing to Bloombox is that along with a full color uh, instruction booklet, which you just can follow easily step by step, Richard o always does a video explaining some of the techniques that he uses and introducing the stamps and whatnot. And of course, I make a video reviewing the cards and um, something that I bring to the table is that sometimes I change the cards up a little bit depending upon you know, how the wind hits me, you know. So in this particular case, I did change up a few of them. Um, I think I changed up every one of them in some way just because inspiration hit and why not. Um, so I love to have um, those options for you as well. So the first one, and I, I didn't um, video my like unboxing this time around, but just pretend that there's a kit, items, everything you need, cardstock, embellishments, uh, ribbon, everything that you need other than inks and adhesive for these kits, okay? So it's a six month subscription. And I'll talk about the changes in a minute after the video. So six month subscription, $24.95. Um, you get four card, fully kitted card kits, excuse me, to make four beautiful cards. You have a full size stamp set, so valued at $18 or more. And of course, the booklet, the video, all the techniques. I always say that the Bloom Box is like a mini class. So you, it's not just here, here's some random stuff and some, you go make some cards with it. Um, literally, you're learning. So it's your, it's like a little mini class every, every month, okay? So it is a great value in that respect. Okay, so first card is this one right here. You make my heart skip a beat. 
and I changed this one up. Um, I mean, not too terribly. The layout's the same, but um, I wanted to add more color. So what I did, let me go and show you my version. Bye bang. So that's my version of this card. See, side by side comparison. So here's what I did different. Okay, I used some of my Riverstone cardstock to create the card base. Okay, because they had, the one supplied was whipped cream, and I just wanted to switch that out because I wanted it to. I wanted the white panel to stand out because I felt like it was. Um, I'm not critiquing you, Richard. I'm sorry. This is just, just how I felt. I felt like it was kind of. Um, Again, words are leaving me, but it was just kind of like fading into the distance. So now the white panel sticks out with the gray. And then I wanted to bring in a little bit more of the Cranberry Bliss. So I put in a, um, just a, I think it's a two and a half inch rectangle here in width of Cranberry Bliss to make that panel, um, I don't know, not necessarily pop out, but just make the color stand out a little bit more. Um, I colored and added Journey Glaze to that. They did color it, but I, um, Oh, sorry. I guess I also changed the stamp set. Um, I use Proudest Pudge on this one. So I was like, why is that different? It's because I changed it. Um, I didn't really have an occasion to use that particular one, so I changed it to one that I would use. Um, and then, of course, you see that I added the cute little button right there from one of our mini button sets. Um, and that's kind of what I did. I still did the, the um, silk, the silver silk, and, of course, I added the beautiful sparkle hearts that we have because those are i mean how could i not add those they're awesome and actually i think one fell off because there were three. Oh, here it is <laughs> i think this one goes here somewhere right there <laughs> anyway okay so there's that one actually probably out of all three i think this one may be my favorite oh there it goes see it's dropping <laughs> Okay, so I love that one. I'm just going to take this moment to re-adhere that heart. Y'all don't mind, right? Re-adhering the heart. Boom. Okay, now it's back on. It won't fall off now. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so there's that one. Super cute. I am uh, excited about this. The um, He really used a lot of sparkle silks in this one. Obviously, the beautiful bow and our... Um, Sparkle Hearts, I loved those as well. Of course, again, my addition of the button, my addition of Change of the Riverstone, and then just adding the Cranberry Bliss to kind of tie those colors in together. So there's that one. Okay, that one is fun. They're all fun. Remember fun cards? Next one is definitely fun. And, I mean, hello, super fun. So I changed this one up too. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I kept it pretty much the same but um i again because he was i guess he's on a white card background kick on this i changed the background to our turbo teal go and show you my version so here's my version so turbo teal back back um whatever turbo teal card background and then i guess i'll put these side to side by side here forgive me for showing you here um, okay, and so then, um, again, you can tell it's the same layout, right? Um, so I've got the strip of the paper, and it's a cool technique on how we made that um, background uh, colors there. And then um, kept the layout as far as the arrows and the kind of floating in space little squares. But I did not do the inking as a color option here. I left it white. I um, did back it in the, uh, matte it in the black, and I just colored these individually. I think I used Sharpies, but you could choose whatever you want. And I think I used a silver paint pen, one of our silver paint pens. I did add some sparkle on the punch bowl, because I thought that'd be cute. And of course I did add the um, sparkle silks, or not sparkle, that's just the silks in the background to make that fun. So anyway, I just wanted it to be even a little bit more colorful since I wasn't doing the inking technique here. I wanted to bring more color by adding a Turbo Teal back, um, uh, background, just a card base. So, so there's an option for you if you have that. Of course, this one is cute too, so you can use the um, supplies that are brought in the kit. 
Um, but if you want to change it up, use what you have. It's your card. Make it how you like it. That's the beauty of it. And take those extra supplies and use them on another card later. Okay, so that's that, ca uh, that card. Card number three. Oh, this one, I, I just think it's really cute. I don't know. For It reminds me of like a great masculine card. Um, and I did change up some things. I made it a little bit more like clean and simple. So the one shown adds, adds the, um, I keep wanting to call it sparkle silk. It's not sparkle silk, just silk. Okay. Silk, right? Um, the silk splatter. So mine, I did not add the silk splatter. And if you'll notice, I changed the background papers. I just flipped it over. So what you see here is the other side of the pattern paper that's included. So I'll go ahead and maybe side to side like this. I don't know. Okay, so you can see the background paper is different. I mean, I like the one included, but I, I kind of like this other one better. It kind of went along with my clean and simple look a little bit better. And Cool Beans was so cute. Of course, the ribbon. Um, I mean, the ribbon, the um, twine. I don't know if you can tell, but this is an embossed panel there. That it, So this came embossed. It's white. So it's fully kitted and fully embossed for you. You don't have to do that. Um, so there you go. And I just was looking at this and I was like, I like it. It's a really good masculine card. Um, it just kind of has this, I don't know, bit of, it's got a little bit of attitude almost, right? So I really enjoyed this one. So it'd be fun. This is a unique card for me. It's not usually my style. Um, the colors are more masculine and I struggle with masculine cards. So I'm glad to have this in my card arsenal for a guy or um, any kind of masculine type situation to give a card to. So anyway, there's that one. And then the last one, this one here and lots of sparkles or ugh, silk, lots of silk, um, super cute. Thank my lucky stars. This panel here came already um, die cut, the elements. And for this one, I changed up. I didn't do the silk splatter and I changed up the way that he did the, um, the black twine or thread. Excuse me. I decided a bow would be cute. So here's mine. So again, same layout. I just changed it up and added a bow, and then um, I didn't do the silk. So you can see how that one has silk splatter, and this one does not. I just kind of kept it clean. I did add some sparkle um, silk. So there is such a thing as sparkle silk. It's this lovely guy right here. Look at that beautiful sparkle silk yumminess. Uh, so in this card, I did use sparkle silk. <laughs> <laughs> on those uh, stars so you can make it so there it goes you can it, they shine on um, that fun tape so fun sparkly sparkly so I wanted to keep this one also a little bit more uh, clean and simple without the sparkle so I have two cards that I left the, the silk out and two cards where I included in because I liked it that way so all with um, the things that are included in our kit so I like my triple bow I just kind of like that accent a little bit better whatever you might like it the way it was. So again, that is the beauty of these card kits. You are supplied with um, a, a card, excuse me, you're supplied with everything you need to make a certain card. And then the beauty is you take it and you create it, you make it your own. If you like it just the way it is because you love it, then you make it just the way it is. And it has the instructions on here for you to follow. It has everything you need. Um, or you can change it up because it's yours. So anyway, I love offering a couple of different suggestions. Um, to change up your card kits if you want to, of course, using whatever supplies you have at home and on hand. Um, clean and simple here, and then a little bit more clean and simple here, because um, it's fun. So, all right, you're wondering, what are the changes coming up for Bloom Bucks? So this is very exciting. A lot of you have been wondering if we will ever do month to month, um, I say month to month, um, Yes, that's basically what I'm saying, is if, does it have to be a six month subscription or can you just purchase a certain month set that particular month and not be subscribed to, or not be, yeah, subscribed to a six month long deal? 
So the answer is starting July 1st, yes, that is gonna be an option. We are gonna have an a la carte type option, okay? Now, there are some strings attached, so to speak. So we will continue with our six month Bloombox subscriber process. So if you're one of my six, uh, six month subscribers, I thank you, I love you, I appreciate it. And your um, catalog, your free catalog that I send out to all my subscribers is already in the mail. So hopefully you'll get that pretty soon. Um, so there are perks and benefits to being one of my six month subscribers. Um, and that is gonna stay. It's $24.95 plus shipping and tax, of course, I think it, comes out to be 33 or so, depending upon where you live, uh, dollars. Um, so that's still good. You won't be affected whatsoever. Um, now, those of you that aren't sure about hopping in the six month train and maybe just wanna try it out for one month, that's available July 1st. But the strings attached is that because it is a month to month deal, there's a couple things. Number one, it is a higher price point. So it's gonna be $29.95, all right, 29. So it, it bumps itself up about four bucks, okay? So with uh, shipping and tax, it might end up being $35, $36 or something like that, okay? Maybe 37, depending upon, again, location. So that's something. So you're kind of praying, paying for the um, benefit of, all, of be able to, being able to choose um, if you want it that month or not, okay? Um, and then the second thing is, it is while supplies last, which is a little scary sometimes, okay? So for sure, if you're a six month subscriber, then you're gonna get it no matter what, you are guaranteed because you are, you have subscribed to it and there is no worry. Um, and so obviously the six month subscribers will get their boxes and then after that, there will be a portion, a number that will be kind of made for the month to month people. Um, um, but once those are out, they're out. And so if you, you know, decide later in the month that, uh, you want this one particular kit, but it's later in the month, you may not, may not be guaranteed that you had, that it's available. So there's that. Also, um, before, um, it used to be that we could not order the stamp set separately. So some people don't want the kit, they just want the stamp set. Um, and so that is gonna be available. But I just want to give warning that those are also while supplies last and our six month subscribers get it first, then any of the month to month kit people will get it. And then if there are any stamp sets left over, then you will be able to purchase them that way. But again, it's while supplies last and so there is no guarantee. Um, at convention, Richard was like harping on us. He actually made us repeat while supplies last, like over and over and over again, which makes me think that um, he's not planning on having very many of those stamp sets available. So um, I just wanna pass on the information. So if you're getting excited about this, you know, I don't have to subscribe for six months, get excited, but just, you're going to have to jump on the, on, on getting it quick if you like it. Okay. Because again, I do not think that there will be very many extra. We shall see how it goes. Um, I obviously love my bloom box subscribers and I love sending you free goodies and fun gifts along the way. So it is a benefit to you. All right. Okay. I think that's all I had to explain. If you have any questions about the bloom box, just contact me, but a little, put a little comment below, um, send me an email or whatever, and I am happy to um, help you answer those questions um, that you might have, um, or really any, any questions at all. Now, if you're wanting to join my club, then you can go to my website, which is www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting, and then click on the Bloom Box tab, and then you will just follow a quick and easy little prompt sign up, pay for your first month's kit, and that's all you need to do. Now remember, if you're interested in the just a la carte option, that will not be available until the July bloom box, okay? So just FYI there. Um, guys, ladies, gents, I think that's all I have for you. Um, of course, announcements, um, RG hits the road, not RG hits the road, That'll be later. Um, RG presents the Journey Holidays uh, online tour, or online event that is happening July the 15th is, excuse me, registration is still going strong. It is now $99 to register for this event. 
still an amazing deal. You're getting quite a lot to sign up for RG um, Presents. It is a show, it is a show, it is a show, it is a fun show. Um, where there's participation, there's free giveaways, there's make and takes. You get a box mailed to you full of all the supplies you need to make this. It is an all day event. You do it from the comfort of your home while you watch everything being uh, done on YouTube Live, the Fun Savers Journey YouTube Live channel. So anyway, if you have questions about that, let me know. I'm gonna be mentioning it in every video until registration closes. It closes June the 26th, okay? Um, if you have registered for my um, for RG Presents uh, Journey Holidays, there is an option, so one, those of you registered, there's an option for you to buy an additional die that goes with the poinsettia stamp set, okay? If you didn't get that email, let me know, uh, because if you're registered, you should have gotten the email, but if not, let me know, I will give you that information because you're probably gonna want this die because it goes with a poinsettia stamp set. Okay, um, I think that's it. RG Hitch the Road. New catalog, hello, new catalog's out. I say it's out, it's out for me. <laughs> and my Bloomberg subscribers. Um, if you want one, guys, it is uh, $12.95. Just go to my website again, www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. Um, click on, you can just even just put catalog in the item search box and it'll pop up. Uh, Pre-orders are going strong. Um, they should mail out that first week or so of July, okay? Um, I think that's it. If I'm leaving something out, then I'm leaving something out. I can do nothing about it. Um, if you have any questions, contact me, email me, and I will happy to help you. I'll be happy to help you. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. And um, I am going to be at the Chantilly Scrapbook Expo. I leave tomorrow, okay? So if you're going to be in Virginia and at the uh, Scrapbook Expo in Chantilly, come see me. I'm going to be teaching the Cool Tools class uh, and stamping class and another class. So just come see me. All right. Say, Hey, I know you. I have people do that all the time. Don't worry. I, I love for you to come and introduce yourself to me and tell me you, you've seen me on my video. Um, it's fun for me. It's fun for me to meet people who actually watch. So anyway, hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. Um, other than that, I will see you probably next week. All right. Bye.